Hi, I'm Vicky Carter and I'm at Reuters, where today we're exploring how the advancements of technology is affecting news. Digital journalism to me is just an extension of what journalism was before, I think. You use the same skills that you had before, but in a much more kind of social and technological way. The conversation has changed from is digital journalism important to now everyone realises it's essential and you know the ability to connect people and, and communicate at such rapid fast time frames is, is really what digital journalism is all about and, and, and events like this where mm-hmm. I get to come and talk to the news industry about how they're doing that and how we can work together is really exciting for us. Every time I come to News Rewired there's more creative things that people are doing and, and it's just all changing quickly and in exciting ways. Just being here today listening to ideas around voice activated uh, devices in news, um, constant shifts in live video. It's, uh, I think those sorts of innovations are moving at such a pace, it's really hard to know where it's going to go in five years. My interest is mobile, creating content with the mobile for mobile uh, audiences. So uh, how to create complete mobile environments. So video scribe lets you pretty much write anything that you want to, and then you get this magic hand. And the hand draws the content. So if you've got some kind of logo for your organization, and you've got a message you want to put out, then you can get the magic hand to write this for you. This would otherwise cost you several hundred pounds to get spiky hair-cutted blokes with sharp suits to design for you. Being able to create content that previously would have been done with a much larger device like the camera to my right here, which not everyone has access to. It would be great to have a broadcast camera or an audio recorder or a satellite truck or a radio car with you all the time. And that's not possible. Whereas the phone you've got in your pocket can do things which for many people is going to be good enough. And without being too critical about social media, the quality may not need to be absolutely 100%. When Periscope came out in the kind of the second wave of of these live streaming apps, Mm -hmm. I thought to myself, hold on. A lot of the stuff that I've been training the inverted commas professionals yeah. on how to appear on camera mm-hmm. and, and, and radio people about what to say and how to promote a show mm-hmm. and how to lead people through a show mm-hmm. is now actually really good information for the, I mean this with the greatest respect, the amateurs yeah. as well. You can do live streaming from a, from a hot air balloon, mm-hmm. you can do it from a drone, uh, down on the ground obviously you can do it in a kind of office, in a studio, with your phone. If you can be on the spot and capture the passion of an event, mm-hmm. capture the passion of a, a cultural uh, experience as it happens, then I think that's an amazing way of being able to distribute that out. The phone is something that you have with you all the time, so if you can gather the content that's going to be interesting and engaging to your audience, I mean, ultimately, though, the phone is just a tool. It's a way of getting the content, whether it's with a big camera or a phone, you've got to have a good story to tell in the first place. Storytelling is key across all platforms, to be able to tell an engaging story, grabbing you know, your audience at the start, if you're live, you know, making sure that, you know, there's a reason for going live, make sure that you're continuing to interact with comments if there are comments coming up. Um, and so, you know, playing to the advantage that school, uh, digital journalism has, like, you know, visualisation and video, interactivity and so forth. Is it relevant? Is it interesting or informative? Is it timely or topical? And is it either educational, entertaining or, most of all, I think, emotionally engaging? If you've got those things, you will continue to have an audience. It's not just about the technology. Long gone are the days where you parachute a journalist in who knows nothing about an an area or nothing about an issue and they become the person that's the face of it for a day. So that's where I think things will change. Wow, what a fascinating conference on digital journalism. The future is really in our fingertips. Seriously though, we can film on our phones and are live streaming. I'm excited to see what's in store. I'm Vicky Carter, thanks for watching. Thank you.